good afternoon guys it is uh thursday uh, tuesday 11 of march we haven't planned anything yet after the rain we're still pumping water off the farm um so yeah i haven't been filming anything because we don't really do anything and i don't want to make a boring video to you also um but i'm a uh, in tennis's truck my truck decided this morning that it's gonna have a wheel bearing out so I had to order one and it'll be here tomorrow hopefully and um, yeah the corn that is up looks pretty decent I'm really happy with it um, not too bad like I said before we lag like 124 acres Corn to plant, um, but the fields is just too wet. So uh, yeah, I've done a little work on the mini eggs this morning, and I'm heading down to Dennis's now to go lower a covert again, and um, go break a little heavy that I built it for the. Uh, for the dock hole and stuff so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna head down there work on that a little bit um we bought a new pump for the levy leaper because that pump pump is out so uh yeah tina's tina's just got done putting that new pump on and um and we might use that tomorrow to spray all that rye grass there it's getting out of hand um, i'm gonna spray it 15 gallon work and then we might plant this field i don't know hopefully thursday or friday if we don't get any more rain i really hope we don't for now um, so we can plant um, and then i'll spray it with chromoxone again we'll double burn it that's the only way I'm gonna kill it now. That's what I did with that other field that was so bad. Um, so, we're gonna load this up and um, we'll uh, get it all moving. I'll be able to see it, but this corn standing pretty good right here and across in this field. And uh, I did a stand count yesterday, uh, a couple places, a couple fields, and uh, so the germination rate was 95%. Which if we did 35,000, I think it was like 32,300. <clears throat> and um, believe it or not, out of all the fields I counted and all the places, only one place I found 34,000. All the others was 35,000 and 36,000, which is kind of weird because we planted 35, but we ended up with 36 but I, I i'm not complaining um so on uh, 38 inch rows you measure out 13 feet and 9 inches and um, you count whatever plants is in that measure distance you times that time a thousand and you get to 
35,000, whatever you count it. So, uh, here and there we saw skips, but when you dig down in the dirt, you actually see that it is emerging, it's just a little behind. Um, with this cold weather and a lot of rain, it plays a huge role in uneven emergence. So, uh, I'm pretty good, I'm happy with this stand we have. I mean, we, we basically got a 100% stand, so can't ask any better. Um, can't ask for any better. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, we're just waiting for stuff to dry out and um, so we can get back to planting some. So, on this bottom of the field, there's still some water standing, so. Um, and when the, when it, the field is full of water, when it rains quite a bit, it drains out very, very slow. So we're gonna, I'm gonna check this out. I'm, I might have to drop this culvert down some and um, in order to get all this water out. But yeah, this is pure bob shot. I dug it a little deeper, but as y'all can see, the ditch is full as well. So uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take to drain. But right now, it's way. It's about a, I would say, four to five inches below the field. So uh, yeah, it uh, should be low enough now. Might have to bring the foiler again tomorrow. <coughs> Just ride out this bottom and make it all drain to the scover. But yeah, this is pure box short as y'all can see. Heavy clay. <coughs> but uh pigeons put a pipe back in and uh see if the water will still go. Alright, so we are finally done with that culvert. Um, so uh, I dug a little ditch right here to drain this irrigation ditch from many 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 years ago um, so this will drain actually out into the road ditch right now so this can get empty because when it gets high enough the water backs up into the field so and the approach is, is wet as y'all can see so Getting rid of all this water and uh, I'm re ready, I'm already load up so uh, we're gonna head back to Rain's place and probably gonna be it for today um, we'll see what all we can get into tomorrow well good morning guys welcome back um, so today we're gonna go and try and spray that uh, rye grass patch there or level it per quickly before the wind picks up because it's blowing straight to the corn and I don't know if y'all can see but the corn looks dang good in front of the lodge I'm pretty happy with that um, so I'm gonna do that quickly and then I'm gonna ride around see if we can might plant next to the neighbor where his corners are because uh, I don't want to burn his stuff and the wind is blowing east today, which is good, so we might plant something, we might not. Um, it all depends, I don't want to plant a little bit of a field and don't get to finish it because they are calling for rain again tomorrow night, maybe Friday, something like that. So uh, let's quickly, quickly mix something up here. Uh. A jog nearby that holds two gallons, so I have to uh, compromise and do four of these. So I'm putting fire zone in, so it'll burn that dry grass even more put in rain which is a drift control agent
spoke to uh, the guys at Precision yesterday again because I don't pick up any signal so pull an AB line which I don't use the AB lines I count my rows because this is was and it's very not very accurate <coughs> but anyway I'm gonna see if I can change something um, that he told me to change and we'll see if that works This is what keeps us from planning, is this bottom of this field, it's so bad. I hate ryegrass. About to go make a little load to finish this off. So uh, this uh, is one of the fields that we need to pull the Kelly Diamond on, but um, it's getting it's too wet to do that yet, and it's getting too weedy. Um, so we're gonna need that big sprayer and a mix up a load because we need this to we need to spray this and then field 16 over where we had Milo because um, it's also getting weedy so we're gonna go check that out and we'll get a big sprayer um, this is actual this field I planted in uh, I think it's annual cereal rye or something like that anyways we did this three years ago I just planted it with a little drill kind of see where the line goes um, and uh, I mean it kind of serves as a cover crop and we don't have any problem killing it um, so I'm gonna come here to this, this with Gromok zone since we're gonna work it up I don't want to spray around up on it so we'll do that and uh, I just checked the field field 11 where we need to plant corn uh, I don't I don't think we'll be able to go this week unless we got very high temperatures um, I don't know it might look a little might look a little different this afternoon but as of now I don't think we'll get it not before the rain of Friday or Saturday whenever the rain comes so uh, yeah kind of sucks um, Worst case, we might just swap that fields to beans or when it gets too late or something, I don't know. But uh, as of right now, I don't think we'll go. It might look different this afternoon. If it does, well, good. But um, yeah, let's go check our fields. Field that we need to plant corn in, it's called field six. It's been a problem for years and I just redone the stale ditch last fall. Um, this, state, this field actually looks better than the dryland field 11 Set for a little tail beach, just a little sticky um, Everybody is scared of this field including me because I got my combine stuck right there last year um, This is completely buckshot field It's the worst field I have on this farm That I have to deal with and it's also one of Brennan's dark holes and uh, I think that contributes to my problem when they flood it up this field just gets soaked all the way through every year and that's what makes it so soft that's what I believe um, that's that culvert we lowered the other day so I'm gonna check this out this afternoon again maybe we can heat this 40 acres um, and we'll definitely spray this with a level leaper. Uh, 
but yeah right now it's also too wet still and I think the stale leaks are still full of water and I'm trying to burn all this corn stalks but I just too wet can't burn it It's got some water in it still. Might have to get a foiler and come ride it out when Tina's gets back. So this corner is also planted with um, the field 19 and the stuff by the lodge. Well, it's a day or two behind, I think, but uh, yeah, looks pretty good. They're all yellow. With all the cold weather and rain we had, but um, they're coming along. And uh, we have precision cut off, I don't know what I call it, road cut or whatever, swath control, so um, not too shabby. Um, so we, we came out on this pass and it cut off pretty good. Um, I do notice on the stuff that we come in fast as we go in it cuts on about one feet too early uh, so we'll, ju we'll just go in there and adjust the the cut on rate we'll delay that with a second or so and should be fine yeah very sandy stuff um, very sandy dirt right here but yeah um, not too shabby so <coughs> we got a plan for today we're gonna spray it's about what that's all we're gonna focus on today spray so I finally gone uh, done the the ends around the field. I'm going now with the rose. Um, I had a dodge a lot of water and wet spots. But yeah, this field is rough. I'm feeling sorry for the guy that's gonna run that Kelly Diamond, but it's probably gonna be me. So I feel sorry for myself. Woo! This is rough. I just see a lot of hawk activity down at tree line, so might have to come sit out here one night with a thermal, see if we can catch them. Kill a couple. Okay, so we finally got through spraying the roundup. Um, but, uh, so, okay, we redid this cylinder the other day because this 
wing width as I spray it'll start slowly closing on me so it was bypassing in here but since we've rebuilded the cylinder this wing tends to open um, up very fast and closes very fast I mean it'll about hit me out of the cap and um, so I just got some advice from some other guys that there might be a restrictor missing in here um, so I'm gonna take this out quickly and see if I can find what they are talking about um, I guess it restricts the flow of the hydraulic fluid that goes in the cylinder um, so I'm gonna crack this open quickly and um, see if I can find it okay so I found that the I have that orifice missing, that's why that wing is unfolding and folding so quick, so Shadow will get me one in town, hopefully they have it in stock I um, uh, just flushed the sprayer, I'm gonna just rinse it off and then we'll go take a ride and if I don't spray any ryegrass with a level leaper, I'll probably have to clean it up so uh, let's get wet So uh, uh, I just made a loop around the farm, we're still, we're looking better than this morning but um, it's still wet, especially where all the scorn stalks is, I mean it's just cheese under there. So I'm gonna go back to the farm, go grab that propane burner we got and see if I can get something going but uh, I don't know, I'm out of breath now from digging that water further but um yeah I need I need this I need this gone in order to plan because no way a tractor will run here without leaving huge rots so uh rest of the field looks pretty good it's just this corner that I need to make a plan with Imagine I end up raking this whole piece. That'd be crazy. Well, some of it is burning, but right over there, that stuff is so weird. I don't know what to do. Um, man, it's maybe if I get all of the guys who work for us, we'll get rakes and we'll rake all this shit up. I don't know. This is the part where I hate duck hunting because you're trying to farm. But then, 
they also want a duck hunt. This is actually a duck hunting farm, but um, if we want to have good crops and stuff, we can't deal with this every year. And but yeah, I guess that's it. That's just what it's going to be. Um, the duck hunting bring us, well, not me, but it bring the company big, a lot of money in that we can use wherever we need to with wells and whatever we use it on. It's just part of that thing. It is what it is. I don't know if it'll, maybe it'll help if I pull a tire, maybe it'll drag all that stuff on the pile or something, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna have to come up with something. I'm gonna go to that other end and see if I can burn some of those cot um, corn stalks over there. And I guess then I'll have to come up with a plan. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we are raking it. I am raking it. Um, I don't know what else to do. We have a little orchard rake where you had an orchard that we can use that we used to rake limbs and stuff, but it's so wet down there that I can barely walk. So how, how is the tractor going to even drive there? So there's no, nothing else to do other than rake it by hand. Luckily, it's not that big of a sport. It's that little corner. It's big enough to make you tired. Phew. Well, with that said, guys, it's going to be the end of this video. End of a sweaty video. Um, whew, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully, we'll get back to planning soon and we can create some better content and all this messing around and stuff. If the rain will just stay away for a little bit so we can get planted and then it can rain all at once. I don't care. Um, but yeah, if you all enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and uh, yeah, um, catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, uh, giving you all a little update. We've started planting some beans uh, on the shared farm. We started, well, we've planted about four to five acres already. And uh, so we've been hopping along. We hope to get this farm finished by Friday, which probably would be possible, uh, is what I think. I think we'll be able to finish. Um, it's been a busy day getting everything ready and filling up this thing is not as hard because I got a remote for the seed cart to cut it on and off. So it's a one-man job. Um, I plant about 18 acres, and then I fill up again, 18 to 20. Um, my population is 140,000 on the beans. This is irrigated stuff. Um, we hope that, we're, I think we're gonna get a good soybean crop off of this farm. Um, this year because it had corn I'd say probably well half corn for two years on it and then uh, like a little bit of cotton uh, last, not last year the year before that so uh, well last year was all corn yeah so it basically had two corn crops on it that, that followed each other and right now we're planting beans so we expect this yield to be pretty good so um, we'll see how it goes and uh, so far everything's been running good so we just going acre by acre as they say money grows in rows there's the rows right there